Hey guys, this is Curtis from Genius Mods here to show you how user programming works on the GM Elite. Modes 1 and 2 are locked, so you can't program in them. So you're going to have to go to modes 3 through 10 if you want to enter programming mode. Modes 1 and 2 are locked because we want you to be able to just get back to playing uh, whenever you want if you mess up your programming. So to change modes, you hold down the mod button on the back of the controller, hold it down for a few seconds, and the third and fourth LEDs are going to blink. The number of times they blink tells you what mode you're in. So I'm going to go to mode 2 right now. And then I'm going to go to mode 3. Now to enter programming mode, you have to hold down the mod button and left trigger and right trigger all together at the same time for about 7 seconds. Then the fourth LED is going to come on for a few seconds and go off. That means that you've entered programming mode. Once in programming mode, you can tap the mod button to tell you what rapid fire setting you're in. When you do this, the third LED is going to blink for the 10 place, and the fourth LED is going to blink for single digits. So let's say the third LED blinks twice, and the fourth LED blinks five times, that means you're in rapid fire setting 25. So let's see where we're at right now. We're actually at 10, because only the third LED blinked. So to increase rapid fire settings, you actually press left trigger. Every time you press it, it goes up by one. So let's say we want to go to rapid fire setting 13. We'll press it three times. One, two, three. So now when I tap the mod button, it shows that we're in setting 13. On page 6 of your manual, it tells you what each rapid fire setting means in terms of shots per second. So I want to try to go to rapid fire setting 20. So I'll go up another 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now when I tap the mod button, the third LED blinked twice, so that means I'm in rapid fire setting 20. So now I can exit programming mode, because that's where I want to be, by holding the mod button, left trigger and right trigger again for about 7 seconds. The fourth LED is going to turn on for about two seconds. That means that you've exited, and now you can try out this setting. So now I'll tap rapid fire, try fire. And that's it. All right, guys, so check us out at www.geniusmods.com. And thanks for watching.